How's it going everybody? My name is Sai, and today we're going to be checking out Semblance Dark of the Day. Somebody left this as a comment over on my Slaves video that I should be checking Semblant out. Now I do know of Semblant. I know uh, the song What Lies Ahead. It was very popular. It made the rounds uh, about the time when Amaranth was popular because I guess people were just really searching up that kind of mixture of power metal and death metal uh, with female vocals. So um, that led to that single being extremely popular and judging by these view counts that did, did that popularity didn't last which could be a shame it could be deserved we're gonna find out today who knows um so i just chose the top song that i don't know dark of the day and without further ado we're gonna check it out so let's check it out It's an extraordinarily gothic car right there. Not the spooky low rider. Let's go. Foot. Such suspense. So spooky. Okay. There's some exotic torch dancers here. They're not doing much dancing, they're just... Uh, I guess they're kind of starting the dance. It's a little inexplicable, if we're being honest. Intros like this is why I try to talk as little as possible before my videos. Um, and I expect to be corrected if I ever babble so much, because... Oh, maybe we got something? I really like that guitar lead up. That was really awesome. His, uh, his high screams are a little interesting. Yeah, uh, his high screams sound like he's being set on fire. Not entirely a bad thing, honestly. It's unique. Um, her singing is great. I like that lower register. Um, I don't know what it, I think it's like tenor. I think I don't. I'm not well versed on vocal technicalities. That's a pretty good range, though. Yeah, I... They look shocked that they just drank razor blades. But that was not... That was not very opaque liquid. You cannot tell me you did not know that was coming. Oh, those are actual vampires. Okay. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, very...
I'm kind of curious to see these guys live because I feel like the female either has a certain like act she's playing or just no stage presence. I can't really tell though. But both videos I've seen her and she just kind of does that sway thing. Not not a whole lot of motion. Which could be owing to her outfit too. Cause, uh, I'd, I'd, have, I'd have issues fucking moving around a whole lot in that. Solo solid. Man's got some cleans. Very nice cleans. Okay. I like his screams. I like his cleans. When he mixes them, I'm not too sure about that. That uh, that mixed trying to be gravelly while singing thing wasn't hitting it for me. The fuck was that? Yeah, that was like a black metal hot. What? The I mean, yeah, yeah, a lot of people are gonna pay a whole lot of attention to the girl for obvious reasons, because that's how women in metal tend to get treated. He's like, oh, she's so pretty and she can do metal, ah, you know? But, uh... A dude. The gentleman. Quite some interesting range. Good God. So that was semblance dark of day, dark of the day, English. That was good. Okay, I had to put aside how impressed I am by this singer and think about the song on its own. The song on its own, honestly, is not amazing. It is very much made by its vocalists. Uh, very much carried, in my opinion. Um, I like. A couple spots of guitar work, but the drums were drums and the bass was bass. Couldn't really hear it. Um, you know, it, it's, 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 it was pretty, it's a metal song, you know? It wasn't anything crazy or special. Based on that alone, it'd be a C. But the vocals add quite a bit and take a little bit, too. Um, her vocals are really good, even though she kind of schlicks in the same range doesn't really go anywhere i like that range it sounds good to me solid job great job the dude all over the place he has a ridiculous amount of range showcased here but he's not quite great at all of that i feel um that high-pitched scream i'm back and forth on okay because that, that first of all how second of all why you know, that's that's the two questions that come to mind is how did you get a high and why did you get that high? Because it was a little hard to take seriously, especially when it seems like the song badly wants to be there with the whole like the vampire shtick and the cultist stuff. And, you know, it, it didn't seem like it's a comedy rock song. So that scream. I don't know. And I feel like it was a little at odds with the theme. But it was impressive. So, you know, you get, you get, and then you take it away. Um, most of his vocals were on point. The, the part where he was singing and, like, trying to be really gritty with it. Uh, 
but the rest of the vocals were on point. Very good job from the vocalist on that, just with a couple little complaints here and there. Um, so overall, it was a pretty good song. It was a decent song. Um, definitely not one of my favorites. Probably wouldn't even go back and listen to it again, except for to just hear some of those interesting scream moments. Maybe share them with some friends, because I don't think I've heard anything that sounds quite like that. We'll give them the uniqueness points there. But, hey, it's good quality. It's, it's a good quality song. B. Solid B. 8.0. That's, that's my rating there. Uh, if you like that, go check them out. Uh, this is kind of, uh, their other songs, kind of one hit wonder status for them. 28 million. Their next highest is this video at like 6 million. Um, and then from there, it's like hundreds of thousands. Uh, not, not great, honestly. They probably deserve more than that, if we're being honest. So please check them out. Uh, if you like their music, follow, buy, all that good stuff. In the meantime, I am going to let y'all go. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.